Hi, good morning, and well, hi, good morning, and welcome to today's products in focus. So the main figure that most people are looking at this morning is the, uh, is the China PMI data coming in below the forecast. It came in at 47 versus 47.5 forecast, uh, and that's actually lower than the previous month as well. Anything below 50, the contraction right there. So a negative, uh, a negative start to the morning for most global equity markets, with um, uh, the U.S., Europe, and most Asian indices all down this morning. Uh, but not by a huge amount because we had most of the sell-off actually come from last night. Chinese stock markets, unsurprisingly, have come off the most. You've got the uh, the Hong Kong 43 down, the China 50 down, and uh, the Shanghai Composite is also down and the underlying as well. So having a look at the US 30, you can see that we um, that was yesterday's session. Uh, we actually managed to get away from the session lows, but again, this morning we've already fallen through off the session lows again. Um, but things don't look too great from a, from a technical analysis perspective. We might see short-term potential support around about 16,038. Almost got a negative cross there in the MACD with the histogram getting a lot shallower indicating that our crossover is possible. So moving on to the UK 100. Um, quite a negative day yesterday as uh, uh, commodities came off. Uh, copper is down. Uh, a lot of the miners got hit quite hard, especially Rio Tinto. Uh, a lot of the financials came off. Car uh, manufacturers, unsurprisingly, came off in the, in the wake of the uh, kind of VW emissions scandals. And the people are, I think, a lot of car manufacturers are scrambling right now to limit any damage in case they've done something similar. Um, but the UK 100 is actually a lot further off the session lows than the US um, 30. Uh, with the UK 100, sorry, um, currently with a kind of a hammer formation right there. Um, no, if you look at the Germany 30 on the end of day charts, it's towards the bottom end of this range. So the sentiment over in Germany is certainly a lot less. But you notice there we've already got that crossover on the MACD. The other technicals are, are relatively neutral with the next potential support uh, all the way down at 57.67. In fact, I'm going to add that on there so we can just see it a little bit more clearly. So then moving on to Japan 25. Uh, bouncing off potential support at 17,496. Three times now it's bounced, currently in positive territory if only just. Negative bearish engulfing pattern yesterday, usually a negative sign, but we, ha we have managed to get a short-term bounce first thing this morning. Um, moving on to dollar-yen, uh, dollar-yen not really doing a huge amount, uh, but the dollar's flattened out against most of the majors, not a huge amount of, uh, of, of action. Maybe Euro sterling actually has uh, a little bit more interest in it, uh, but most of the majors are pretty flat. Oscillating around, around that 21 period SMA. Moving on to uh, West Texas crude, it's not doing a huge amount either. Uh, 45.85 is potential support. Um, it managed to jump off its session lows yesterday, still finishing negative, currently negative just now. Um, the other technicals are pretty neutral. There's not a huge amount of happening in West Texas crude either. Having like a gold, gold's flattening out again as well. Uh, below potential support at 11.37. With a negative day yesterday for gold as, it, as uh, more um, calls for uh, a potential interest rate hike in December from Fed members. Um, but most of the global equity markets are not really thinking there's going to be an interest rate hike quite so soon because uh, there's still so much negative sentiment out there. Um, but we need to look at US macro data to get a clear, clear picture on that, of which we don't really have a huge amount today. Uh, we've got more PMI data across Europe and Germany. We've got the crude oil inventories uh, at 3.30 UK time. And it's on Thursday that you've got durable goods uh, and employment, unemployment claims, uh, which will be the main macro data for, uh, for this week. Uh, a whole host of, uh, of German consumer confidence and business expectations and business sentiment index and current conditions due tomorrow. So there actually is a good amount of German data due then. Um, looking at your dollar and GBPUSD, your dollar and trying a, a very half-hearted bounce off 11, of one spot 11, which also coincides with the flattening of that 55 period SMA. So that's an interesting level, one spot 11. And for cable, <coughs> cable, very negative day yesterday. <coughs> Trading below one spot 54.24. I think yeah, UK data disappointed. And um, we are just slightly below both moving averages just now. Almost got a negative crossover there on the MACD. Uh, with the next potential support being one spot 51.85. So that's currently where we where we sit. Uh, obviously, the economic data today is still uh, to come at 9, 8.30, 9 o'clock UK time. Most of that will probably be finished by the time you watch this video. Durable goods next week uh, on Thursday. And then Friday, you actually have another bit of major US data, GDP, to finish things up. So as ever, guys, keep your eye on the chart forum. Make insights part of your late going forward. And join me again tomorrow to find out what happened next.